Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for knee arthritis in South Africa. Worldwide, 23% of individuals over the age of 40 suffer from knee osteoarthritis. That's like one in four individuals. That's a very high number. OA refers to DJD, uh, which is degenerative joint disease, which is referring to good old wear and tear arthritis. The options for non-surgical knee arthritis treatment have hardly changed in two, three decades. So conservative treatments uh, to date um, have included you know, using a cane, maybe a knee brace, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, uh, Tylenol, maybe narcotics when pain gets really bad, steroid injections, and hyaluronic acid injections. Steroid injections have been around since the 1960s. They became the gold standard uh, because there was really nothing else, and they're still used a lot when in actuality they do a lot of harm to a person's joint and give a very um, short-term pain relief. Now, a knee replacement is considered a last resort for those with uh, chronic knee pain. It's not a risk-free procedure, um, and it's also not permanent. Most people who get one need a repeat within 15, 20 years. There was a nice study in the British Medical Journal showing that um, they looked at thousands of patients who got a knee replacement. Close to 40% of them were ex still experiencing significant pain after a year. When you look at stem cell therapy for knee arthritis, it really is a new paradigm. It's a non-operative treatment that can actually help repair and regenerate damaged tissue. Steroids don't do that. Hyaluronic acid really doesn't do that. So you can also get significant relief improve function. Um, stem cell therapy is a low risk procedure. It's outpatient. Uh, we've had very good results with it. Um, our protocol for the treatment is joint injections. Everybody also gets an IV infusion of multivitamins to help stem cells you know, work better um, as well. How do they work? Well, we know at least six different ways that stem cells work in a joint or in the body. Uh, first of all, they do a lot of what's called cell-to-cell -cell signaling, and that scientifically is called paracrine signaling, and that helps to bring in more cells that are going to be beneficial for tissue repair, new blood supply, neovascularization, and reduced cell death. If you can keep functioning cells around longer and not have them die off, then they can produce more growth tissue, like cartilage. Um, immunomodulation. It um, uh, can stop the immune system from having the body fight against itself, prevent cell death and apoptosis, and there's some direct mechanisms we don't fully understand. Let's look at a few studies um, on knee arthritis with stem cells. Here's one, intraarticular injection of mesenchymal stem cells for the treatment of osteoarthritis of the knee. This is a two-year follow-up study um, and out of uh, South Korea had 18 patients with an average age of 62. They used three different uh, dosing groups. So that's called dose escalation, low, medium, and high dose. So there was a 10 million group, 50 million, or 100 million. And this was mesenchymal stem cells from fat tissue. Pain relief lasted past a year in all the groups, up to two years in the higher dose. So we tend to use 10 to 20 million stem cells per knee which, um, and ours are from the umbilical cord tissue, and we've seen dramatic results lasting well over a year, sometimes two or three or four. Here's a study from 2018 looking at interarticular injections of mesenchymal stem cells that have been expanded, that means cultured, with or without platelet-rich plasma. Um, so 18 patients, bone marrow, mesenchymal stem cells, half receive mesenchymal stem cells, half receive that plus PRP. The mesenchymal stem cell group showed significant improvements in pain, function, activities of daily living, and sports and recreational activities as well. Um, the use of intraarticular injections of the cultured stem cells by themselves or in combination with PRP is safe and has a positive effect uh, for knee osteoarthritis. Interestingly enough, adding PRP to it did not make a difference. Um, I mean, this is a small study. It's 18 patients, right? So you'd like to see a lot more, but it is uh, um, good to see. 
Here's a 2020 literature review of 21 clinical trials totaling 589 patients. So this is called a meta-analysis where you take a bunch of studies, pool the results together, and analyze them. These had an average age of 50, close to 600 patients total. They looked at MRI scans that demonstrated a slowed progression of cartilage degeneration and early signs of cartilage regeneration in the osteoarthritis patients at one year follow-up. So the mesenchymal stem cell treatments are superior to conventional treatments. Um, they reduce inflammation, they restore damaged cartilage tissue. All right, here's a clinical trial out of Chile where they did a phase one and phase two, looking at umbilical cord derived stem cells for knee osteoarthritis. And what they did is they looked at uh, hyaluronic acid versus either one dose of umbilical cord stem cells or two doses of 10 million uh, mesenchymal stem cells. They took 26 patients, separated them into the three groups, and they followed up with them for a year. And, <clears throat> and then they statistically analyzed um, what they were seeing. So it's interesting because at one year, if you look at the pain reduction, you know, it's dramatically different between the hyaluronic acid group versus one injection versus two still maintained very low pain scores, okay? Um, same thing with um, the WOMAC, which is an outcome uh, score. You know, it's dramatically reduced when it came to the two injections. Um, pain reduction, you know, stiffness, all, all across the board. So the conclusion of this study was that, you know, doing two injections um, separated by a few weeks is better. Um, but we typically do 15 to 20 million stem cells per joint, and we see fantastic results, you know, with just the one. All right, so I do want to mention that we don't use embryonic stem cells. Uh, those are the ones that come from aborted fetuses. Um, even if you get past the ethical issues of that, they're just not safe. They can cause um, rejection. They can lead to tumors. Um, you just should stay away from them at, at all costs. We use uh, umbilical cord derived stem cells with mesenchymal stem cells or hematopoietic stem cells. Uh, they do great. They don't cause rejection. They don't lead to any tumors. They have fantastic results. So in conclusion, the outcomes of stem cell therapy for knee arthritis have been stellar. Um, there were no significant adverse events for any umbilical cord study that we've looked at or in our own experience as well. Uh, there's reduced cartilage degeneration. There's some evidence of increased cartilage formation. The results have been long-lasting. We see that too. We use 10 to 20 umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells per, jo per joint. Um, some of our clinics add PRP to increase stem cell activity, but you could see in that previous study it wasn't clear if it was truly uh, uh, helpful. But it is a fantastic way to non-operatively relieve pain and avoid surgery. So in South Africa, we perform uh, injections for knee arthritis um, and other arthritis uh, at two clinics. One is in Johannesburg and the other is in Umschlange, which is next to Durban um, on the East Coast. Uh, both of these are only 20 minutes from the uh, respective airports. Our process is very straightforward. It starts with a free phone consultation with one of our experienced stem cell doctors. We don't charge for this. Uh, it's no obligation. Um, we will assign you a patient concierge representative who can assist you with getting the consultation set up, getting you the quotation, helping you with all the travel logistics as well. Uh, when it comes to the umbilical cord stem cells that we use, uh, we have a pristine safety record. The cells come from uh, our FDA regulated lab in the United States. Uh, so it's USA technology. Uh, the quality assurance is actually more stringent at our labs than what the FDA requires. We have between an 85 and 95% viability of the cells, very high viability. We, our stem cells are pure and they're potent. They're below the fifth generation uh, or passage. We are allowed to culture for international use. So we do, and we make sure that we don't culture them too much so that the potency is very, very high, but that we can keep the cost as low as possible for patients, which is two to three times less than it is in the United States or Panama or other countries. So we continue to win awards over the last 10 years. Uh, we've won this award three years in a row. 
USA's leading regenerative therapy services provider. So the process to get started, visit us online at r3stemcell.com slash south-africa. That's our website for the country. Uh, and call us to set up the free phone consultation at 27-213-0018. Thank you very much, and we look forward to hearing from you.